Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The content of this video is how a manual transmission and clutch work. This video will explain the operation of the clutch, as well as the shifting operation of the dog clutch transmission. The shifting operation of the synchro mesh transmission. The operation of a typical 5 speed manual transmission. And the double clutching technique. First, let's take a look at the positions of the clutch and transmission. The clutch is located at the rear end of the engine and transmits the engine output to the transmission. The transmission changes the rotation speed and transmits it to the tires. A clutch consists of a flywheel, clutch disc, transmission input shaft, pressure plate, Clutch spring, clutch cover, release bearing, and release lever and clutch pedal. The flywheel is rotated by the engine. Friction material is attached to both sides of the clutch disc, and it generates frictional force between the flywheel and the pressure plate, which transmits the engine output to the transmission through this frictional force. The input shaft of the transmission has grooves that mesh with the teeth on the inner circumference of the clutch disc. Therefore, the clutch disc can slide along the axial direction of the input shaft and rotate together with the input shaft. The clutch spring presses the clutch disc against the flywheel through the pressure plate. The clutch cover is installed and fixed onto the flywheel and supports the clutch springs and pressure plate. The clutch pedal operates the release lever through a wire cable or hydraulic system for compressing the clutch spring with the release bearing. For this operation, while the driver is not depressing the clutch pedal, the clutch transmits the engine output to the transmission. When the driver depresses the clutch pedal, the engine output is cut off. This chapter will explain the operation of shifting by using a two-speed dog clutch transmission, which is the simplest type of transmission. The dog clutch transmission was used in some passenger car models until the 1950s or the 1960s, but it is not used in modern passenger cars. However, this type of transmission is still used in race cars and motorcycles even today. This system consists of an input shaft, Counter shaft, main shaft, first and second gears, sleeve, and shift fork, shift shaft, and shift lever. The input shaft and the counter shaft have gears integrated with the shafts and rotate together. The first and second gears on the main shaft are not connected to the main shaft and rotate freely relative to it. The main shaft has grooves that mesh with teeth on the inner circumference of the sleeve. As a result, the sleeve can slide in the axial direction of the main shaft through the operation of the shift lever and rotate together with the main shaft. The sleeve and the first and second gears have protrusions and they transmit engine output by engaging with each other. Now, the transmission is in the neutral. When the driver shifts the shift lever to the first position, the sleeve and first gear are engaged. The engine output is transmitted through the counter shaft, first gear, sleeve, and main shaft in that order. As a result, the main shaft rotates at the same speed as the first gear. 
When the driver shifts the shift lever to the second position, the sleeve and second gear are engaged. The engine output is transmitted through the counter shaft, second gear, sleeve, and main shaft in that order. As a result, the main shaft rotates at the same speed as the second gear. A disadvantage of a dog clutch transmission is that it requires driver operation or other devices to synchronize the rotational speed of the sleeve and the gear being shifted. A synchro mesh transmission was first introduced by the Cadillac Series 341 in the late 1920s. There are several types of synchro mesh mechanisms. This video explains the operation of a two speed manual transmission with a synchro mesh key type mechanism. The system consists of an input shaft, counter shaft, main shaft, and first and second gears, just like a dog clutch transmission. Additionally, it includes a synchronizer ring a synchronizer hub, synchronizer keys, sleeve, and a shift fork, shift shaft, and shift lever. First, let's take a look at the relationship between the synchronizer hub, sleeve, and main shaft. The main shaft has grooves that engage with teeth on the inner circumference of the synchronizer hub. Therefore, the synchronizer hub rotates together with the main shaft. The grooves on the outer circumference of the synchronizer hub and the teeth on the inner circumference of the sleeve are engaged. Therefore, the sleeve can slide in the axial direction of the main shaft, and it rotates together with the main shaft. The surfaces facing each other on the first and second gear and their synchronizer ring have a taper shape. The rotation speed is synchronized by the frictional force generated by pressing these surfaces against each other. Each gear and its synchronizer ring are equipped with small teeth called chamfers, which transmit engine output by engaging with teeth on the inner circumference of the sleeve. For illustration purposes, a part of the sleeve is not shown. Now, the first gear is engaged. When the driver moves the shift lever to the second gear side, the sleeve slides on the synchronizer hub to the direction of the second gear. At this time, the sleeve presses the synchronizer ring against the second gear through the synchronizer key, and their taper sections generate frictional force. Then, the second gear is decelerated by frictional force and approaches the rotation speed of the sleeve. When the sleeve moves toward the second gear side, the sleeve directly presses the synchronizer ring, and the friction force increases. This decelerates the second gear further. When the rotation of the second gear and the sleeve is synchronized, the chamfer of the second gear and the teeth of the sleeve are engaged, and the gear shift operation is completed. Let's take a look at the operation of a typical 5-speed manual transmission. On the main shaft, there are gears arranged for first, second, third, fifth, and reverse. There are synchronizer mechanisms located between the first and second gears, between the third gear and the input shaft, and between the fifth gear and reverse gear, which operate by the shift lever. First, Second, third, in the fourth, the input shaft and the main shaft are directly connected, so the reduction ratio is one to one. Fifth. In the reverse, an idler gear that is positioned between the gear on the main shaft and the gear on the counter shaft reverses the direction of rotation.
As mentioned before, in transmissions without a synchromesh mechanism, the driver needs to synchronize the gear rotation speed. This method of operation is called the double clutching technique. When shifting up, the driver releases the accelerator pedal, depresses the clutch pedal, and shifts the lever to the neutral position. Due to the second gear rotating faster than the main shaft and the sleeve, the second gear needs to decelerate. The driver engages the clutch while in the neutral. At this point, since the engine speed has decreased, the second gear is decelerated through the input shaft and the counter shaft, and the speed difference between the second gear and the sleeve becomes smaller. The driver then disengages the clutch again, and shifts into the second. When the driver engages the clutch and step on the accelerator pedal, the shift up is complete. When shifting down, the driver releases the accelerator pedal, depresses the clutch pedal, and shifts the lever to the neutral position. Due to the first gear rotating slower than the main shaft and sleeve, the first gear needs to accelerate. The driver stays in the neutral and engages the clutch, and then revs the engine. Therefore, the first gear is accelerated through the input shaft and the counter shaft, and the speed difference between the first gear and the sleeve becomes smaller. The driver then disengages the clutch again, and shifts into the first. When the driver engages the clutch and steps on the accelerator pedal, the shift down is complete. This operation is generally unnecessary in modern transmissions with the synchromesh mechanism. However, in sport driving, before entering into a turn while decelerating the vehicle using the brakes, some drivers perform a downshift using double clutching with brake pedal control. This technique is called heel and toe shifting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.